Hi, my name is Dan Frederick. I'm a metallurgist with GE Additive's Material and Process Engineering team. Today, I'd like to talk to you why, about why you can process aluminum and electron beam. There are a number of good reasons to process aluminum in this modality, including reduced porosity, reduced cracking, and the ability to create complex shapes. However, there is a myth floating around that you simply cannot process aluminum in a vacuum environment. The reason for this myth is well-founded, but I'd like to talk to you about why it's not true. We can consider an electron beam like boiling water at higher elevation. For instance, if you read the back of a box of macaroni and cheese, it'll always tell you to boil that water and the noodles for a longer time because the temperature of the water at high elevation is actually lower. This happens with aluminum in our electron beam machines. When you have a melt of aluminum and a vapor a pressure of practically zero above because of the uh, vacuum nature of the chamber, you do lose a lot of that aluminum to the walls of the machine and floating around inside the machine. What this ends up doing is causes a foil to form on the side of the walls of the machine, and that needs to be cleaned very frequently after every build. For instance, when we process TIE 64, the 6 in TIE 64 stands for the quantity of aluminum in that alloy. And I'll joke with our customers that we need to order TIE 74 powder because we know we're going to lose some of that aluminum to the atmosphere. So if we change hands now and we consider an alloy that's almost entirely aluminum, the logic follows. We will definitely put some of that aluminum into vapor and it will definitely find its way to the walls of the machine. This gets especially bad when we consider some of the 7000 series aluminums, like 7075, where the alloying elements have a much, much higher vapor pressure and therefore they leave the solid powder at a higher rate than aluminum even yet. So what we have to do is make sure that our, our scan strategy and our parameter works well with those alloys. Something we can do, which is clever, is actually modify our hatch strategy. If we separate the lines of the, the hatch in our parameter set a little further than we would do for something like TIE 64, we can actually reduce the remelting of material. In other words, the weld pool doesn't hit the same place more than once. And that prevents those elements from repeatedly being exposed to enough temperature to put them into their vapor phase. However, what that may do is cause something like increased porosity. But, as we'll suggest to some of our customers, we can hip parts anyway and close that porosity. So while there are some intricacies to be avoided in additive manufacturing in electron beam with aluminum, there are a number of ways that we actually can process these, process these materials successfully, and a number of our customers already do so.